So yeah, I said I was going to do a stream on these two fat fucks, but uh, it's too much time and effort for these useless cunts. Who am I talking about? Well, as I like to call them, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Or is there otherwise known? The Ultra White Knights. Jeff Sterling and Bob Chipman. Why have they earned this nickname? Because they apologise for every single fucking thing the social justice warriors do. Let's face it, according to Jim and Bob, Tecmo Koei and Idea Factory not bringing their games to the West is a giant conspiracy between them and them and Play Asia to make more money, to make more money. No, I think Idea Factory worded it perfectly. The basic wording of their statement was, We're sick, we're tired of being told, Censor your game so you can have a Western localization. Because somebody's fifis might be hard. No! No. You're censoring freedom of expression. Doesn't matter how you cut it. If this is created by somebody else and you want it to change because it might hurt your fucking feelings, you are censoring self expression. You know, a fundamental human right. Everybody has the right to fucking express themselves through art. If you want to argue that Gone Home. Harsh Story, Depression Quest, and fucking any other number of SJW Bay Area bullshit is art and is also a video game, then you cannot claim that this video game is art, but this video game is not. All video games are art. If you're going to call one video game art, all video games become art. Whether it be Gone Home, the giant hunk of shit that it is, or Dare Alive Extreme Free, or Hyper Dimension Neptune, a Gal Gun, or Call of Duty. It's all a form of fucking this particular form of art, you self-righteous, arrogant, fat SJW sex of shit. But let's face it, as we all know, Movie Bob has a name for guys like us. Dead bros! Or, in other words, people I could never be! Because I like to belittle other people, oh I like think in the back of my mind, how many years has it been since I've seen my own cock? Oh yeah, quite a few. Because, you know, the gut tends to get in the way. Yes, Bob. Yes, Jim. I'm calling you fat. In fact, no. Fat doesn't cover it with you two. You two are what's classed as morbidly obese. And you have this right, you have this self-righteous, arrogant, fucking aura constantly surrounding you two fucktards. They're not gonna take away your games. They're not gonna take away your games. Okay, Jim, why don't you go ask your friend Yancey to go to uh, Best Buy in uh, Australia and buy you Grand Theft Auto Five? Oh wait, he can't. Why don't you ask him to go to EB Games and buy you Second Kagura or Galgon? Oh wait, he can't. Can he? Oh wait, but Jim, why don't you ask him to review uh, Criminal Girls 2? Oh wait, he can't because the social justice warriors in Australia decided it was too much. Too much. It might offend somebody. It might offend somebody. Uh, this game offends me. Good for fucking you! You have the cognitive ability of a fucking fifth grader. Well done, congratulations! You oh, fucking ass. This game shouldn't be allowed to exist because it offends me, it hurts my thieves. You're one person. Or maybe a Twitter mob of, say, a hundred people. And. This game hurting your feelings ain't gonna do jack shit. The people who want to buy this game will still buy this game. Even if it offends your poor little fucking feelings. I don't give a fuck. I don't like this game because I think it's sexist. Good for you. You can think. Well done. I still don't give a shit. But well done. You have cognitive ability. Congratulations! You're at the 
level of my three-year-old niece and nephew. You can feel well done. Come back when you can uh, inherit logic. You know, that thing you all like to just dismiss. Because, of course, the narrative comes first. Always the narrative. Always. And uh, the narrative is bullshit. And yes, I chose to play Gal Gun in the fucking background just to emphasise my point. Most of you are not offended. In the slightest, are you? You couldn't care less. Just like the majority of the fucking population. But EB Games in Australia still felt the need to take it down. Citing poor sales. EB Games. Even Final Fantasy in its first week of release in the West doesn't sell very well normally because it's a Japanese game. Yes, that's right. It's only been out for a week, EB Games. We know you don't tend to actually pay attention to your stock, but here's an idea. Stop letting social justice make your fucking business decisions! Of course, I'll get off track because I'm meant to be talking about these two fat sacks of shit. Yes, let's face it. It's not like Bob Chipman can say, Well, uh, I actually disagree with the Zoe Quinn and Anita Sarkeesian. Really, Bob? Because you were quite happy to be pictured with them. Weren't you? Well, we all know what was going through your mind at that point, didn't we? Hey, if, if I carry this line for long enough, maybe a little Bob will get some attention. Hence, the ultimate white knights. Bob? Jim? Here's a subtle hint for you. Do you want to know the chances of Anita or Zoe or Brianna or any of their friends ever banging you? It's zero. There is literally zero. They like guys who are in shape. Their type seems to be scrawny fucking... Man, children, but that's besides the point. Little Bob and Little Jim will never receive any attention from a feminist or an SJW. <laughs> because what they want is Chris Evans. Not you. Of course, they'll tell you, no, no, we're doing this because we want discussions about gender and gaming. You know, these discussions about gender and gaming which miss entire franchises, entire characters and entire story arcs. But yeah, those are some discussions. You know, one of those YouTube videos where the comments are turned off. On Twitter where if you voice a dissenting opinion you're blocked. But yeah, that's 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 a that's a discussion. That 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 that's a discussion now, isn't it? No Jim, no Bob, my dear Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle fucking D That's an echo chamber. And you're part of it. But well done. Hell, I actually think Jim Sterling did used to be an actual consumer advocate. But then he got drunk with the SJW Kool-Aid. It's really shit makes me want to start drinking again. Yes, I'm 25 and for about 6 years I was an alcoholic. Fucking sue me. Anyway. Let's be clear on something here, Bob, Jim. You're not the voice of the people anymore. You most definitely are not. Guess what, Bob? The reason people buy Call of Duty and Battlefield is because it's fun. It's a good game to play with your friends. Oh. Oh. Wait, is that the actual problem, Bob? Is that why you hate most multiplayer games so much, most Nintendo games? And why, why you seem to worship at the feet of Nintendo? What's that one thing that Nintendo does very rarely? Oh, oh, online multiplayer. I wonder why Bob likes them so much. Oh yeah, because he doesn't have to interact with other people who might say, By the way, Bob, your opinions are bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. And oh yeah, Bob, again, Anita will go nowhere near little Bob. 
She already has Phil Macintosh, you know, her pimp. And then, of course, Jim Sterling's little tirade about quiet. She's a fucking shit character of a fucking shit design. Hey, uh, Jim, tell me, did you take biology in high school or, you know, primary school? Photosynthesis is not the way sk that plants breathe through their skin, it is the way they take energy in from sunlight. As in, it takes a lot of area to take said energy in. The same with water. It takes a lot of area to take in. And oh yeah, <coughs> Jim. <coughs> Let's see. Quiet living is optional. Quiet being your companion is optional. Her outfit is optional. Though you do make this point near the end of your video so that people won't notice that. And oh yes. The uh, posy she strikes in the chopper, you have to romance her first before she'll strike these posies. So you already have to be in a relationship with her. Tell me, Jim, have you ever actually been in a relationship to realise that this is completely fucking normal? If you cannot vocalise how you feel, the best way to show how you feel is with movement, touch, with contact, with visual fucking stimuli, you arrogant self-righteous SJW censorship apologising CUNT! Yes, I love Metal Gear, and I have since Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1. Oh, don't give me, why didn't you play the original? I wasn't around for the fucking... What was it again? NIS or something it was called? I can't remember. Oh, the M... MX something, I think it was. Anyway. Jim, you are not the voice of the people anymore. The only reason your channel is still around is because it's now a protected YouTube channel. That's it. If it wasn't for that, you would have been taken down months ago. Because people would have called you out for your bullshit and more likely flagged your videos. And of course, you know, when he started talking about, oh, but it's not it, it's not like uh, losing Dead or Alive Extreme would be a big loss, is it? Is it? Is it? Because you just wanted to wank to it. Uh, shock, shock, horror, Jim. I didn't want to masturbate the Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Or any of the Dead or Alive games. I wanted to play them, you fucking retard. I wanted to have the choice whether I bought the game or not in my region. I didn't have to import it from another. But no, according to you, Bob, we're just mining man babies who are scared somebody's going to take our toys away. I mean, nice way. Nice way to, you know, then, like, degrade your entire fucking medium. Oh, and Movie Bob, you are called Movie Bob. Stick to movies. Because you know little to nothing about actual modern fucking gaming culture, you self righteous cunt. What do I mean? He has a show called The Game Over Thinker. To me, it sounds more like The Game Under Thinker. Why? Because it was him who came up with the brilliant theory that No, no, take more coin and you play Asia work together to tell more copy that more profit. Really, couldn't it have been that Team Ninja seen all the bullshit that's going on in the West and thought to themselves? You know what? No, this is just fucking ridiculous. I'm done. In this claim, Jim, uh, yeah, I can't use the uh, excuse that the game is made in Japan, so it has Japanese themes. When you when you bring it outside the borders, you can't use that excuse. Okay then, Jim. Gone home can't use that excuse. Her story can't use that excuse when it gets sent to Japan. So guess what? It will never be sent to Japan. Why? Because social justice warriors won't like their games being changed because that will be CENSORSHIP! AND CENSORSHIP! But chopping large sections out Fire Emblem Fates... No, that's not censorship. Completely desecrating Fire... Fucking Tokyo Mirage Sessions of E. That's not fate. That's not censorship. 
No, no, that, that. No, no, Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle Fucking D. You want to see localization done properly? Look at anime. But of course you won't, because your automatic mindset is That's just cartoons, that's just stupid Japanese cartoons, that's just stupid Japanese cartoons! Isn't it Jim? Isn't it Bob? Because of course, you have the same problem that all social justice warriors, nutjob feminists have. That is, what I like to term the Borg mentality. You will assimilate, you will assimilate! You will be like us, you will be like us, or you will not see a western release, or you will not see a western release, you will be like us. Uh, how's about no? Part of the fun of being human is experiencing other countries and other fucking cultures, you self-righteous arrogant shitheads. Of course, you two are probably the type who support the, f you know, theory that changing sushi to hamburgers for localization is normal. No it's not! Most people in the West now have a basic understanding at least of parts of the Japanese fucking culture. But of course according to you fucking retards and your elk, no we don't, we're all just morons. No we're not. Maybe you two fucking are. Because so far as I can tell the two of you are being led by your dick. Oh if I say this often enough and loud enough somebody will blow me. No, no they won't Jim, no they won't Bob. No, sure is. Why do I think Bob Chipman, let's focus on for a minute, has such a thing against, you know, stuff that's more viewed as more masculine in the West? To be honest with you, I think more likely at some point in Bob's life, he's had a girlfriend who's decided instead of being with some fat, sweaty loser, he'd much rather be with an in shape. Attractive, unfat, unsmelly guy who has a job, a career, and life goals, besides bitching about other people's creative endeavours on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think it is. Bob's had girlfriends stolen off him by guys who wore jocks or was bullied by them, and now he thinks this is my way to get revenge. When, in truth, most of the jocks who probably made fun of him and stole his girlfriends probably couldn't give a shit what he's doing now. And they couldn't. Man, no, I fucking wouldn't. And of course, Bob Chipman and uh, Jim Sterling are the perfect examples of the body positivity, positivity movement. Jim, Bob, you are not healthy. You are not. That tube of Pringles is not a coping mechanism. The apple pie is not a coping mechanism, Bob. Put it down. Yes, I am making fun of them being fat, because guess what? At this present moment, I am also overweight, so... Free card! I need to lose 60 pounds too, but guess what, Jim? Bob, I'm gonna fucking do it! Because I want to. Because I want to be normal sized. I want to be able to walk into any store in the country and simply pick up a medium. Go to the counter, pay, and walk out. No, I'm never going to be able to do this with my upper half, but at least with my waist I could. Right now if I had to guess Bob, Jim, I'd say you are probably a 55 to a 60 inch waist. Each of you, at least, lose some fucking weight. Hell, even Rich of Review Tech USA is trying to lose fucking weight. What do you fat sacks of shit have as your excuse? Oh, I work too much, I work too much. Jim, you make maybe one video a fucking week. If we're lucky, and you spend the rest of the time keyboard worrying our way. You're if you're asking, get out the house. Same to you, Bob. Stop trying to apologise for every fuck up Anita and her ilk have. NIS America censoring criminal girls to is a bad thing. Nintendo censoring fate the uh, final 
the fucking Fire Emblem Fates and Tokyo Mirage Sessions of E is a bad thing, Bob Jim. Tecmo Koei and Idea Factory not bringing their games to the West is a bad thing. Thanks to asshats like you, we are now having our choice of video games to play in the West restricted. Made less. But of course, according to you two fat sacks of shit, that's perfectly fine because nobody's feelings will be hurt. No, no, somebody's feelings will always be hurt. My brain is hurt because I'm trying to figure out your fucking logic. To be clear on this, Bob. This wasn't a conspiracy between Tecmo Koei, a Deer Factory, and PlayAsia. PlayAsia always carries the Asian version of the game. Whether it's released in the West or not, you can buy the Asian version of Battlefield 3 and 4 on PlayAsia. You can buy the Asian version of Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayAsia. You can buy the Asian versions of every Tekken game on Play Asia. These are all games which were released in the West or made in the fucking West, Bob. So your argument is null and void when you actually pay attention to what the website actually fucking does. Yes, yes, I am truly thankful for places like Play Asia, Manga Gamer, J List, Samurai Buyer. Because if these things didn't exist, then we would be forced to play bullshit like Gone Home, Her Story, Depression Quest, and fucking Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. The, the, everybody's Gone to the Rapture is an inventive idea. Stanley's Parable is an inventive idea. The other ones are just shit games. But of course, because we must keep the narrative going. They're claimed to be basically the gaming second coming of Christ. No. Video game Jesus is Mario. Uh, the video game Archangels are games like Battlefield, Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, and the most mean, evil, and fucking ra raging juicing of them all is Doom. But no, 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 no. Video games are sexist. Video games are racist. Video games are homophobic. Video games are... No, they're not, Bob. See that whole thing on uh, Steam about it. Steam users are racist because they don't like Watchdogs too. No, the reason we didn't like the protagonist of Watchdogs 2 is because he was an arrogant hipster dipshit. The same as the previous one, ironically. We didn't like him because he was a fucking hipster. Not because he was black. I think that I thought that was quite a cool idea, actually. We got as well. And say it's set in does have a fairly large black population. But no, it's because we are racist. Really, Bob? Really? I'm a racist, am I? Is that why one of my passions in life is a part of a, a subculture of Japan? Well, a large amount of the music I listened to growing up was hip hop and rap music. Yeah, I'm a real racist, Jim. A real racist. Guess what, Jim? Just because you have a quivering, shitting heart attack every time you see a jiggly tit, doesn't mean the rest of us do. We are now demonized, trying to demonize people in the West, enjoying the naked female form. Why? Well, because we've become neo-fucking Puritans. Y you don't believe me. You, you really, really, you, you actually... We're trying to, buy, to ban pornography. We have the Mayor of London trying to currently ban billboards featuring women in bikinis. But yeah, we're not neo-Puritans. We are currently removing anything sexual from pretty much anything we can lay our hands on. But we're not Neo-Puritans. No, you are. You are most definitely fucking Neo-Puritans. You want everything to go back to the way again it was in the 1950s. Hey, Jim. So your objectification bullshit. Do you want to know where it comes from? 
it comes from one dear old Karl Marx. If you actually look into it, am I saying you are a communist? No, but your ideas come from the same place as communism. So, in all logical senses, they probably end up in the same place as communism did. An authoritative dictatorship. Only difference is, this time it will be headed up by some black people, some Asian people, some women, and nobody else. Because remember, gender comes after race, but before sexual preference. <laughs> yeah, that's how these fuckers' minds work. And then again, James Brown one of those people who believes that the world is more racist now than it was in the 1960s. Okay, fat boy, go back to the 1960s. See how wrong you are. Or, the world is more sexist now. Really, feminists in the 1960s and 70s were, were, were campaigning for the right to work. The right to work. For a fair fucking wage. They got it. I wonder why most old school feminists find new feminists to be fucking irritating whiny little bitches. Because they are. You're crying about virtual fucking characters. Works of art. Fiction, Bob. Fiction. And oh yeah. Bringing the whole, oh the only people who will miss this is the kawaii body, pilling, body pillow having crowd. I'll own a body pillow, never have owned a body pillow, never will. But I'm still pissed off that Tecmo Koi and Idea Factory aren't bringing their games to the fucking West. Because here's a secret, Bob. Not only does that mean we're not getting Dead or Alive Extreme Free in the West, we're now not getting the next nin Ninja Gaiden game in the West. And if Tecmo Koi is ever hired by anybody else to make a game for, say, the Nintendo, we won't get it. Same with Idea Factory. We weren't going to get any more of their games too. Look, but that's not that big a loss, that's not that big a loss. Really? Really, one of the best games ever made to poke fun at the video game subculture was Hyper Dimension Neptunia. We're not going to get that in the West anymore. Well, don't give me that, they said they'd still bring Hyper... Once, once these people hear that Idea Factory is still bringing Hyper Dimension Neptunia to the West, you know for a goddamn fact, the call will be there's another Japanese game that hasn't been censored enough. CHARGE! Here's the secret, guys. People like attractive people. Both male and female like attractive people. But let's be clear on this. Attractive characters and attractive people are two entirely different entities. A character is someone who is fucking fictional, someone who is real, someone who can have no actual physical harm or threats done to them. But no, 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 you're objectifying this character. Bob! Bob! Jim! They're a character! They're already a fucking object! You cannot objectify an object, even though most objectification fucking logic and theory is utter and complete debunked... BUNKUS! Complete... Bullshit! But of course, no, 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 no. This is objectification, this is objectification. Shut up, you socialist Nazi motherfuckers! Yes, I am using that to describe you two fat fucks. Because you are calling for censorship and the right and the ability to censor what people can play, censor what people can do. Next you're going to be telling people you should think a certain way. Oh no, wait, you're already doing it. Here's a pro tip, Bob. People, adults, do not take kindly to being told what they can and can't do, what they can and can't say, what they can and can't buy, what they can and can't watch, what they can and can't think, what they can and cannot feel. We're adults, we have freedom of expression and freedom of right, freedom of fucking speech. You don't like what we say? Tough shit, we're gonna keep saying it. Because we have the right to fucking say it, and in my view we have the responsibility to call you fucking assholes out on it. 
So to Tweedledum and Tweedle... So to Tweedledum and Tweedledee, shut up and stop fucking apologizing and a... And fucking trying to use warped bullshit logic to dignify everything your ilk does to video games now. Because there's no dignification in it. There's no right way to put this, Bob. Censorship is censorship. Doesn't matter how you cut it. If you chop parts out of a game, if you change lines because somebody might find them offensive, that's still censorship. That's not fucking localization. Chopping large parts out of the game is not localization. That's censorship. You want to go to standard localization? Look at what anime localization companies do. Fucking Amniplex, Sentai, Funimation, Crunchyroll, all of them leave the product as it was aired in fucking Japan. Leave the game as it was made in Japan, you self-righteous gobshits. This also goes for Korean and Jap Korean and Chinese games as well. So stop being a fucking apologist, Jim. We might actually like you again then. When you actually start talking about stuff that affects us and not stuff that affects poor, poor minorities, poor, poor minorities. But even the minorities are basically telling you you're full of fucking shit, you fat sack of fucking shit. And the same to you, Bob. Go back to movies. I don't give a fuck if you do them. Stop trying to tell people how to think and what to fucking feel and what to buy and what to say. We have freedom of speech in the West. We have freedom of expression. You're not going to take them away no matter how hard you fucking try. Yes. Yeah. Bye.